Welcome to an S-tape-B tutorial on the rotation module for Fires of Titan. Um, to craft it, you will need a blank item router and a comparator. And this will give you one of these, our mod rotation. <clears throat> now, um, let me go into a little bit of, this is for the more advanced players, and so let me explain how the item routers work. Um, if you have two sources, cobblestone and grass, um, one source will override the other source. Um, so if cobblestone is flowing this way, um, it will block this one, and so this one will stop, and it will have to wait until this whole chest is empty before it will go. And the problem is, if this is a cobblestone generator, it will never empty. And so this one will never go. And so really, an item router can only have one item, type of item going through it. For instance, like cobblestone. And some of the machines and some of the recipes, you have to, you can't put enough item routers around it because there's only so many faces. And so one face, has to handle more than one item. You have to have two items going through it. And so the rotation module, it, what it does is it only allows one type of item to go through there once. It won't allow the same type to go through it twice unless another type has gone through. So this only works with two types of materials. You can't do three. Um, you can, but um, I'm not sure what the outcome would be. It's really only meant right now for two. I uh, plan to do it for multiple, but right now it's just two um, sources. And so it will only it'll allow cobblestone to go through it once, and then it waits for the grass to go through it before it lets the cobblestone go through it. So I'm going to put, I'm going to demonstrate that. Let me show you that. Um, all these are empty. And so I'm going to put the puller in here to pull from the cobblestone. And there's the cobblestone. It went through there, and it's there. Now, if you notice, cobblestone's backing up. Even though there's a cinder and um, a puller, it's, it won't allow it to send into this item router because of the rotation module. If I pull the rotation module out, then you can see it's passing through it now. Um, I put it back in it's going to stop because cobblestone was the last one through it. And so now I have to let grass go through it. And now you'll watch it and it'll just sit there and now it's going back and forth. Um, now it does work with the speed and stack upgrades. And so it will send a whole stack through it. See how it's sending whole stacks through it. Um, and it just takes turns going rotating between the two sources now um one thing is important um it does not work with pulling into the item router if i had a puller in here for instance if i took this puller out and pulled it into here it would it would um the rotation module wouldn't work anymore it would um it only works with sending into it. So a sender, advanced sender, um, advanced sorter, um, hyper sender, then will work. So if you have two sources, you can hyper send them into this, and with a rotation module in it, it will rotate back and forth between the two sources. And so now if you're trying to make um, reinforced allied ingots, you have to have six different materials and an output, and there's only um, so many faces to it. So now you can send two materials into one source, and it will work now. And so hopefully this didn't confuse anybody. Um, hopefully this is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, thank you for watching. This is part B to the rotation module. Um, the first part 
Everything in the first part is still right. If you just throw it in there, it will do two items, back and forth, any two items. But if you want to get more advanced with it, you can do up to nine different items now. And um, how you do that is you simply just right click and it brings up this menu. And um, it will put them, it, it will do only the blocks in this grid and it will do them in the order you put. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You cannot put duplicate box in here. It will mess it up. And you also cannot put spaces in between your items. Um, I'll show you what I mean. I do these four. So we do grass, cobblestone, clay, gravel. Now I cannot put a duplicate. I can't do two gravels, even if I put something in between them like grass. I I can't do two of the same blocks. Um, it won't recognize it. And you can't put a space like that. You can't you can't have that. They have to be in order with those spaces. And then once you have that, um, you put it in here, which I have one, which is cobble. It goes cobble, grass, clay, or cobblestone, grass, clay, gravel. And for that, you have the grass here, clay, gravel. I have stone here, and these are being high percent to it, which um, it won't let the stone in. And um, the reason why it hasn't started is because I don't have any cobblestone. So I'll go ahead and fill this up with cobblestone. Now, it's putting them in order how you have them listed. And it will just rotate back and forth. And you notice no stone is coming through. It won't let anything sent to this. It, this is only being sent to it, not pulled into it or generated into it or, or like broken or the vacuum mod. Um, it's only sent into this. It will only let the four blocks there. And that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching my video.